Hey everybody, this is my everyday personal size planner by Filofax. I do keep the plastic cover on. I have a lot of small kids. I love this design. It is pleather, not leather. It was about $35. So let's get started. I have an Ollie clip. I have flat scissors from the Hobonichi store. I have blank cards, note cards, life. So I believe everyone should have one of these. This is anything major that happens, I simply write down the date and what it was. Um, and I know that's the point of having a planner, but I honestly don't keep my planner pages. So like mailed bills, which bills did I mail on what date? And this so far, this is a field note sized notebook and it has lasted me over seven months now. And everything is in there. Um, bought tickets. Um, I don't put like babysitting because that has no, I'm not going to look back and be like, oh, when did so-and-so babysit? Unless it's like, um, so-and-so babysat for eight days, I owe them this amount of money or I paid so-and-so this day, got a receipt. Anything super important, doctor's visits, all the doctor's visits go in here. Um, anytime we travel, it goes in here. Any important information that I would have to reflect back on, um, if my husband's company, if we put something on my husband's company credit card, like for the ball or anything along those lines, it would go in here. The date we put it on, the date they paid us, the date we paid for it or blah, blah, blah. The date it got paid back to us, whatever. So I have open and don't because some of this stuff has personal information and I'm not taking everything out. So this is from Day Designer. I like it because it sticks all the way down and super long. This is just future planning. It just simply has months with squares and all the dates that are coming up. And then this one says open, so let's open to December. This is from Day Designer. I just need the monthly calendar views and I'll show you why in a minute. And this is where my dots would go as well. I don't put anything except for my monthly have to do. And the next tab says open. So. I've gotten really frustrated with absolutely not finding planner piece, so I decided to make my own planner piece. Amy, really? Planner piece? That exists? And why in the world would you make your own? First of all, quality paper? Not there. But these are Target dollar spot notes. These are a dollar for 90 pages, so I can switch them out monthly, and it only costs me $12. So I'm doing kind of things on cheap. It has Monday through Sunday, which is how I plan my weeks. It has 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. so I can put multiple appointments through here. Um, let's say my husband has to work, I don't know, eight to two on Wednesday. I could put him here, I could put the kids here, I can just go all the way down the line. And again, super cheap, super cute. And I have a habit tracker from so much crafting and clearly I'm horrible at taking my prenatal not because I'm pregnant I'm a me I'm anemic sensitive um, one of my kids is on probiotics kids vitamins and my no spend clearly I forgot those days and then take you to a blank page so this is a target dollar spot um, notepad and it's got Nemo and I thought it'd be perfect for July and it says new rule, no talking. And it has Monday and then 11. And this is what I use for daily. So what I'll see is my to-do list is here. And then on this side will be my appointments. Because I'm a stay-at-home mom, I don't have appointments all the time. But when I do, sometimes I'll have three in a week. Sometimes I'll have none for two weeks. That doesn't mean I don't go anywhere. That just means I have nothing major that I have to attend. So... The next one is, okay, so then I have inbox, which is just like a brain dump, and then action, which is where if I have to call someone, I'll put all the contact stuff here, like their name, their number, what time I contacted them, what time I got back to them. Um, empty weekly pages, if I wanna use these. I don't typically use them, I typically make my own. Um, and this is from Sweet Kawaii Design. 
kids all have a section with a tab in case I need to take quick notes on a specific child. It's easier to flip this way. Medical, this has all my kids. Date of birth, blood type, allergies. And I say that huge because with four kids, it's easy to forget who's allergic to what, especially something like orange juice. My kids don't drink a lot of orange juice, but one of them is allergic. Can't tell you which one, but if I look in here, I can. Contacts, and I'm not gonna open that either because I'm sure the world doesn't want me to share all their information. And then notes. So, I have this recollection sticky note thing back here purposely because I don't use it every day and it keeps it from bending as much. And then I've inboxed my note section, almost like kind of like um, bullet journaling. So I have the kids sizes, I have my cycles, I have my workouts, I have the habits, I have my son's pen pal, I have my cleaning schedule, I have random. Um, notes that I need to keep, gift cards and e-gift cards and things I want to reorder. Way back here, I have regular graph paper. So regular graph paper is like $5.99 for an entire pad of it. I cut it down and I hole punch it and I use it in my planner. And this is super cheap, cheaper than buying inserts, cheaper than doing a ton of Etsy. I'm really trying to be use what I have and love what I have. And then I have a zipper pouch in case I need to throw coins or stamps and then a folder. And then this just keeps everything flat. And that's the back of, it goes this way. This side is sewn together and then it has a little elastic. And that's what I use for absolutely every day. I hope this gives people an idea and I hope it helps them realize that you don't have to spend a lot of money to have planner piece. You just kind of have to do what you want and make your own. And it does not take a lot of time. It just takes a little bit of creativity. I hope everyone's having a fabulous day. Bye.